Hey, it's good to see you. We are in Jamestown, North Carolina, and I just had to show you this. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> it's a Thursday night. It's a Thursday night in Jamestown. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Jamestown, but it's actually, they have several restaurants here and places that people love to go to. They have live music and stuff and bars and, you know, all kinds of things. This place is usually jumping on Thursday nights and there is nobody here. This is Main Street, so you see cars, but I just want to show you this. Okay, now right here, we're coming down Main Street and we're coming up to my favorite restaurant in the whole world. This is uh, Southern Roots and it's closed. Now normally this place would be just buzzing with people. There would be, oh my God, there'd be 50 people in there right now. But it's like a ghost town. Down there is the deck at River Twist. And like I said, this is Main Street. And usually Southern Roots is so busy that people would be parking over there at the Wells Fargo. They park over there. Um, it's, there is just nobody. And I had to come show you this tonight because we have our shelter in place order that takes effect tomorrow at 5 p.m. And I don't know that they would be okay with me being out walking around this time at night. I mean, they, they may not care, but I just, I cannot believe how deserted it is down here. Oh my God. It's crazy. So over there is the deck. Um, normally that place is just jumping at night. There would be people streaming up and down this sidewalk walking because they would have to park way up the road because all the parking lots would be full. And over here, this is Potent Potables. This is a dump, another place that's usually really busy. This place would be packed with people. It, it's closed. They're, they're not open. There's just nothing. It's so crazy. But yeah, there's the deck over there. I'm going to see if we can get across the street. I'll show it to you. To wait for the cars. Oh, there's more. It's like post apocalyptic out here. There's not a living soul at this place, but they have stages back there and they play live music, especially um, in the summertime. But see, you can see they have some seating out here and they have all kinds of little lights set up. So it's Gables at the deck. Yeah, so it's kind of sucks. It's just so quiet out here. Looks like that's the smoking area. I didn't know that was there. I, I've been here a few times. I haven't been here in quite a while, but yeah. Okay, so the Blue House Bakery is over there. They're closed, but I don't think they're open at night anyway. There's a little bit of traffic, not like normal though. Oh, look at the pretty lights. Oh, it's on a it's on a rope. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Look at all the pretty lights. They have purple ones over there. Huh. Okay. So you come walking down here, there's a little shopping, like a little fancy strip mall over here. Oh, let me show you this mural. I hadn't planned on it, but let me show you this. Now, this is a shop called The Soap Lady. And I've thought about contacting The Soap Lady about making a video after all this is over. The Soap Lady has this store here, aptly named The Soap Lady. And they're closed. They're not open at night anyway, but... Oh, I like her chairs. It's like an Adirondack chair that's been made into a rocker. There's two of them. I've never been in there, but, um... Oh, they're only doing curbside pickup. Oh, they... Okay, they can have customers in their shop. 
Well, hopefully when we get back to normal, oh, look at that bathtub. Hopefully when we get back to normal, maybe we can uh, talk to the soap lady and do a little video in her shop because it looks like there's a lot of cool stuff in there. What does that shirt say? Wash your hands and say your prayers because germs, Jesus, Jesus and germs are everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's a pretty light up there. We're open. Wash your hands. We got you covered. <laughs> How about that? But yeah, look, there's all kinds of liquid soap in there and things. Noisy cars. My goodness. Look at all the soaps. Harvested have a conniption fit. But um, let me show you this mural. Now it's kind of dark out here. I'm probably going to get murdered, but. If you gotta get murdered, I think Jamestown's the classiest place you could do it. Now, this was painted on, now the artist who did this, it took them months and months to do it. And I wanna come back and show it to you in the daylight because it's actually very beautiful. Um, it's kind of dark out here, so you can't really see the colors of it. But it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. But it, see, it's so dark, you can't really, you can't really see the color of it. And then over here, they had little kids come, I think, and do like handprints and like kids and adults put handprints all over this wall. <laughs> and then she has her sign up there, the soap lady. But now normally at night, this parking lot will be slam full because of people going over to the deck or potent potables or southern roots over there that mural is just awesome i want to come back and show it to you in the daylight it's gorgeous it took months look at that octopus it took months for them to finish it and they kept it covered with a tarp the entire time so you couldn't see what it was going to be so we all had to wonder for a, i don't know it was two or three months you couldn't see it and then finally they revealed it and it was just really cool but people also park here to come down to, there's an oyster bar down there. Now this place is always crowded, but it's not crowded today because it's shut. There's a trophy shop. Get you a trophy in there. I can't believe how quiet it is. Thursday night is usually a really busy night down here. I'm the only person walking around out here. It's crazy. Like, there is nobody walking but me. I wanted to um, show you this. So, there's the Full Moon Oyster Bar. And they have a cool mermaid I want to show you. This place is normally just jam-packed with people. But, of course, they're, they're closed. I like the little mermaid they have hanging here. That's pretty cool. Big, uh... Mermaid there, but yeah, so they have Moon Brew also, the other side of the moon brewery. That's pretty cool, yeah. And then over there, that was a house that was built by one of the um, oh shoot, one of the Quakers. His name was Jubal something. He built that house back in the 1800s. There's a factory back there that you can hear. And he built it facing that way because he loved trains. And there's a train track right there. And he wanted to be able to see the trains when they came by. And that's why the house is pointed away from the road, which is right here. But he wanted it facing the train tracks. There's a sign down here that tells about it. Um, yeah, this parking lot is usually totally full. There's not a single car in it. It is now, this house is now the, uh, the Marketplace Cafe. They have coffee provisions and light bites according to this sign. I've never been in there. Let me see that sign. There's a sign down here that tells about it. It's actually a really big house. I think his name was Jubal 
something. I want to say it starts with a C. Look at these giant, well, you can't see them. It's dark out here. These giant cedar trees. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Shubel, not Jubel, Lord. Shubel Gardner Coffin. Home of Dr. Shubel Gardner. Gardner Coffin. The arrival, the arrival of the railroad shifted the center of Jamestown eastward from the old town center where Dr. Shubel Coffin, 1809 to 1881, had established a medical school in 1840. He built his new home here, overlooking the tracks to enjoy the improved access and visibility afforded by train travel. The two-story house features unusual Greek revival details for our area, such as the board and batten siding. There's the back of it there. I don't want to get too close to it. I don't want the cops coming and <laughs> thinking I'm going to break in or something, but that's his house. And it is now the Marketplace Cafe. But I did hear a bit of history about this town, and uh, one of the things they said was he loved trains, and he wanted to be able to see the trains come through from his porch. So... He had the house built where the front of it uh, faced the train tracks, which are on the other side of those. That's bamboo, actually. It's on the other side of that bamboo hedge right there. But it's a really nice place. There's a sign up there. It says, come sit on the porch with me. The drinks are cold and the friendships are free. And they have fresh cut flowers. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So, yeah, now here is a scene in Jamestown that you are never going to see on a Thursday night. There is nobody. Like, nobody. I have never seen Jamestown, Jamestown look like this on a Thursday night, ever. It's actually pretty busy down here this time of night, normally. Now all you have are just people driving through. I feel like I'm in Radiator Springs. <laughs> It's so dead out here. Oh my God. That's crazy. But yeah. Just wanted to show you this because I will probably not be able to do this anymore after tonight. It's just nuts. That was the dry cleaner and then they moved and just left an empty building over there. I don't know why. Yeah. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this impromptu tour of deserted Jamestown on a Thursday night. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again really soon.